I have over 2,000 friends, followers, subscribers, or whatever you call it, across my social media accounts. I'm sure I've met about half of them in person in my life. I've talked to about one fourth of them. I know little bit about 250 of those people. I interact with 20 to 30 on a regular monthly basis. I receive from and send messages to as little as about 2 to 4 people every day max. Yet on October the 2nd, I remember 2021, I spent literally the whole day scrolling through my Instagram and Facebook feed. Even though I knew that I wouldn't receive any important notifications or messages from anybody, I would say to myself, anybody can comment or send you a message anytime soon. So as a responsible person, you don't want to miss it or make him or her wait long. Since that day was Saturday, I would say to myself again, doing your phone for a few more minutes or hours is something that you deserve because you've been working so hard the past whole week. With all those excuses, when I looked at the time, it was almost the end of the day. Do you know how awful that feels to waste your time watching what other people are doing with their lives, especially when your to-do list is full of important tasks that you have planned for that day? And I thought to myself, this should be what they call an addiction. I am addicted to social media. I gotta do something about this. I'll delete them now for a week and see what I can do without them. To be honest, all I was thinking that week was about when the week ends, I can reinstall my babies back on my phone. However, with the absence of those apps on my phone, I could go to gym three times a week, run about 30 kilometers, read six hours of book in total, slept around seven hours a day and cooked myself healthy and delicious food. I liked that and I decided to extend it to 30 days. I wanted to date whole month. About 120 kilometers of running, two books in total, enough time for friends and family, gymming five times a week, eating healthy, positive days and nights. 30 days passed. I loved how I spent my October. Then again, I said to myself, let's do this for 100 days and see what I can do. Perhaps I can achieve one of my goals, which is getting into shape, you know. 100 days passed. I literally lost an interest in getting back to social media. I was super productive, happy, energetic, positive, focused, and especially I was getting into shape, losing about 6 kgs. I couldn't see a point from being there on Instagram and Facebook. Like why would I want to see what other people are doing, what they are wearing, what they are eating, who they are spending time with, where they are spending their time at, especially when I don't even know if I'm gonna meet them in the next few months or years. As for close people, I thought I could just check on them by sending a private message. Hey, what are you up to? How are you doing? You know, if I get really curious. I reckon it's even better, more personal. And entertainment is important. When I wanted to entertain myself, instead of going to Instagram, Facebook, I decided to read a book, fiction book in particular. And you know what? I found fiction books to be even more entertaining more productive, effective than those videos and movies. Other times I read self-development and religious books as a way of entertaining myself. I've read 10 books in the last 5 months, which means 2 books a month. I know this might not sound a lot for some people, but for me it means 250% more books than what I was reading prior to this little no social media challenge of mine. Plus I wasn't wasting my time on social media, I could finally start long-awaited plan of mine, YouTubing. I could make and upload videos consistently on a weekly basis onto my YouTube channel. On top of all of that, I realized that I was at a stage of my life where I should be focused more on my dreams, goals, plans than other people's lives. I'm 24 now, I'm holding bachelor's degrees, graduated from university one and a half years ago, working for a good company, but I'm very, very, very far from living the life that I have always dreamt of. I'm far from living the life that I thought I'd be living by 24. Quitting Facebook and Instagram has helped me a lot open my eyes wider. So am I not ever going to be back on social media, Instagram, Facebook? No, I'll be back in a few months, but not like before. I'll be there not to watch what other people are doing with their lives or sharing my life. I'll be there to add value to people's lives and share something worthwhile. I have planned some cool projects for the second half of this year. I'll probably be back with anything related to that project. All in all, I'm not saying social media is bad. All I'm saying is, if you use it for wrong purpose and addictively, it might become a big obstacle between your dreams and the current life, without you even realizing it. Give it a think, if that's the same case with you as well, consider taking a break from it. I'm sure Instagram, Facebook, or whatever social media you use, can survive for a week or two without your posts, likes, comments, shares, and whatever. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in my next videos. With much love. Sherhan from ATA Life.